So there is a new snake here in my house and that snake is a boa constrictor. And by new, I actually mean has been living here since November. Filming with snakes might honestly just be one of my least favorite things to do because they're just like always on the go. They're so hard to film with. I mean, some snakes are definitely easier than others, but like Marvin here will not stop just trying to stretch places and explore places. So it is a little bit difficult. So this here, you know, this, this snake right here, this is Marvin. And while Marvin is kind of my pet, He's not exactly my pet. He technically belongs to my boyfriend, Josh. So Josh and I welcomed Marvin into our home back in November, I believe it was. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was November when we added Marvin to our family. So Marvin is about three years old and he was rehomed to Josh and I back in the fall of last year. So I actually had one of my friends message me and say, Hey, um, someone I know has this boa constrictor and she's not able to take care of it anymore. Are you interested? And this might come as a surprise to some people, but I actually said no. I messaged her back and said, you know, I right now am not really looking to get a new pet snake, especially a snake that gets fairly large. I'm working on some enclosure upgrades for the snakes that I already have. So, you know, now is just not the time for me to get a new snake. So even though I actually said no to taking Marvin, I then told her, but I can try and help you find a good home for it. So that is when I asked Josh if he wanted Marvin as his pet. I personally have never had a huge interest in owning any snakes really larger than like a ball python or a Brazilian rainbow boa. Uh, don't really know why big snakes just aren't for me. I have nothing against big snakes, you know, I used to work with big snakes basically daily when I was working in a zoo. I was working with retics and berms and anacondas and stuff, so I, it's not anything against big snakes. I just don't really want to own them as pets. Josh, however, is a lot more interested in larger snakes than I am, so I thought that he might be pretty interested in giving Marvin a home, and he was. So that is when Josh decided to get Marvin. This is Marvin. Marvin is a common boa, or BCI, boa constrictor imperator. Um, that is to say, he is not a red tail boa. You might have heard uh, people before in the pet trade calling their boa constrictors red tails. A red tail boa is a boa constrictor constrictor. They do exist in the pet trade. However, most of the boa constrictors you see in the pet trade are in fact the boa constrictor imperator, which is quite a bit smaller. Doesn't get nearly as big and beefy as their cousins, the uh, boa constrictor constrictor, the red tail boas. But in my opinion, they are a, a better pet. Maybe not as impressive per se. Obviously more manageable. It's a less powerful snake. Makes it a little bit safer in general to own, but also won't take up as much space, of course. Won't be as expensive to feed. Um, so I really do think that the BCI is one of the best pet snakes for uh, any level of experience, really. I like most species of boa. The boa constrictor imperator is from South America, where they occupy a pretty wide range. They are usually found living on the ground, but they will spend a lot of time in the trees as well. They're very capable climbers, very capable swimmers. Because they have such a wide range, they are a very hardy, very adaptable species. In owning a boa constrictor imperator, it is really important that you're catering to the ind individual snake's need. It is helpful to know the locality. Um, that might give you a better idea of what levels of humidity they would be comfortable with. So I mentioned earlier how we got Marvin from someone else, you know, he was rehomed to us, and the girl who had her before us took really, really good care of him. He is so beautiful. He's such a healthy looking snake. His weight is phenomenal. He's shed twice since we had him, and both times has been really good. So yeah, the person who had him before us did a really, really good job with him. Now, when we first got Marvin, he was living in this exoterra here, which is now set up for Tim, 
He was starting to outgrow it though. So right away we moved him into something bigger. Right now we have him in this PVC enclosure, which is four feet wide, just as long as Marvin here. That is a good general baseline for a snake enclosure. You don't want anything that is shorter than your snake, of course. You want something that your snake is able to stretch out all the way. Now, of course, Marvin is not done growing yet, so he is not always going to be four feet long. As he gets bigger, we are planning on upgrading him again into something even bigger than this. We're going to be custom building an enclosure for him. We're going to be giving him more length, width, and height because right now he does use a lot of the space in here. Uh, he's quite an active snake when he wants to be and I would love to give him the opportunity to explore that space even more. I guess he does not want to go back. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Home sweet home. When he's not out and about, Marvin does like to spend a lot of time in his warm hide over on this side here. Currently, we're using a heat pad underneath the enclosure to keep that side warm, but I do want to upgrade him to a radiant heat panel in the future um, because I have heard that they are amazing with PVC enclosures and I really want to try that out for him. So here's a brief look at Marvin's enclosure. So right over here there is this hide. So this is his warm hide that he does like to spend a lot of time in. There's a brick right here. This brick can be used for shedding purposes or you know even just like textural enrichment. And there's also this big cork log in the back. So this is hollow so he can both hide in it and climb on top of it. And Marvin actually really likes to use this cork log to shed. So Marvin has shed twice in our care. Here's one of his sheds right here that we just pulled out. And we have another really, really long shed. I'll go and show you guys that. This is Marvin's other shed that he had in our care. It is very, very long. Josh is very tall and the shed is almost as tall as him. Now Marvin is only slightly over four feet, but when snakes shed, their shed typically comes out a bit longer than the snake itself just because the skin stretches a bit. So even though this shed here is well over five feet long, Marvin is not a five foot snake yet. And then over here we just have a water dish that is large enough for him to soak in and then a few fake plants throughout the enclosure. So yeah, this is just a brief look at what Marvin's PVC enclosure looks like right now. So there we go, there was Marvin. I really hope that you guys enjoyed meeting him, learning a little bit about his backstory and seeing his enclosure and hearing about some future plans for him. I do also wanna mention that Josh does have multiple other animals animals that a lot of you guys have probably never seen before. So if you want me to do a video introducing you to all of Josh's animals, let me know because that is definitely a video that we could do if you guys are interested. With all that said, I am just going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it and I also really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I have a lot of fun videos is coming up so make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on so that you don't miss that. Also be sure to check out all of my social media that will all be down in the description below and I want to give a special shout out to my TikTok because I just started posting videos on there recently and they've gotten quite a bit of attention so be sure to follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. All of this said I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.